that sunshine. Check out this weather. It's another absolutely banging day again. Anyone watching these videos from abroad is definitely going to be like, when did London get so nice? Today is a particularly exciting day because I get to make a video with my mate Jackie. Last night I went to a kind of networking event and I drank two beers and I genuinely have a hangover. So I've got to make some hangover juice. That is going to sort me out. So today, for anyone that's ever watched any YouTube videos I've made before, you probably know who Jack is. We started about three years ago making stupid videos with cheesecakes and taking flights to random places. But I carried on making videos and then Jack really focused on his music. Three years later, his music career is going great. So today I'm going to go and sit in on a session that he's doing with Liv, who is a sick singer. Make a video with them, see what happens. I'm excited about filming with Jack today. Although like our work doesn't really cross over that much anymore, he's still the person I spend the most amount of time with and he's still one of the main people that push me. Like, I could never do half the stuff I'm doing without him constantly telling me to get out of my comfort zone, doing the things that scare me. And I think it's important to have someone like that in your life. Someone's just gonna push you and make you do all those things you don't wanna do. Hello? 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 <laughs> oh yeah, it's been ages! Oh, Mate, it's making probably the best guacamole they've ever, met, ever seen. And just recording with Liv. My G. Jack produced my first single. Cobro produced... Inside. When did we write it? About a year ago? Probably in April, wasn't it? We wrote that pretty quick. Got to have patience, but that's coming out this year. We're calling it all the time. No, I haven't recorded with her for ages actually. She's been busy with like other producers cheating on me and shit, you know. Little bitch. I'm trying to get rid of him to be honest, but <laughs> I'm joking. They make such nice lunches. We're working on something new today, which is pretty fun. We're just having a little lunch break. Because man's hungry, you know. And today we're just working on something new that we just wanted to work on something new for because we haven't worked on anything new for ages and it's just like it's the funnest thing to do. I didn't always know that I wanted to make music. I didn't grow up in a creative family or anything. Went to uni, studied ancient history, random. It wasn't until I got to uni that I realised that I didn't want to do any of these graduate jobs or become a teacher or work in a museum or anything. And the one thing I was passionate about was music. Like singing, writing. I always wrote poetry from like the age of 14. So connected the dots, began networking. Now I'm here in Jackie's Front room, eating halloumi. No, I didn't always know that I went to make music, but once I found out, I just went for it. I used to consider like, music would have to be everything for me, and it was like, this is what's gonna define me, this is like who I am, this is, and I think over the last three months, I've been going through like a massive transition in my life, where um, what I'm starting to realize is like, there's so much more that you have to offer in, in, in life, and Music is like 80% of everything that I do and I'm trying to like not get so wrapped up in just being the best musician because I want to be the best musician that I can be but I also want to be like the best friend that I can be, I want to be the best human being that I can be, I want to be like there's so much more that you can give just like and I think that shift in learning that over the last few months has made me like relax a bit more with music and as a result of that, like I've made loads better music because you take this weird internal pressure that you have inside yourself to be like, I'm sitting down at the keyboard for the next hour and I have to make the best song possible. It's like, man, just make whatever comes out and if it's sick, it's sick. And if it's not, I don't know, go and read a book. It's like, it sounds like I don't care about music. I care so much about it. And 
things have progressed so much in the last six months, if they progress at the same rate, then in six months time, I think I'll have a very different life. And then six months after that, I think I will, I think I will. But I want to be the best version of me as possible, not just the best musician, if you, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Sound like a massive hippie, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> singing career all right three words of advice for anyone who wants to get into the music industry chat shit get banged don't give up oh i like her one more <laughs> killed it <laughs> bye guys bye 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 that was good to hang out with them jack fed me a peng lunch feeling real full feeling real nourished and it's cool to see them making some tunes like jack's been making music ever since i've known him which is a lot of years now and yeah this year it's all starting to kick off which is awesome right now i have a meeting with a production company in brixton um, which starts in 10 minutes just got out of the meeting it went super good Super nice guys. So they have a production company, but they started a sister production company called This World Can, all about trying to make a difference, social impact um, type stuff, which is exactly what I want to do. So yeah, we've been talking about potentially working on some stuff in the future. This is crazy being right next to the buses. That stinks. Um, I've got to get back to the studio in a hurry because I need to send some work off. Back in the studio, I've been editing for like the last four hours. My eyes feel like they're about to fall out. Today was good. Good meeting, good weather. It's nice to be in the sunshine and hanging out with Jack and Liv was cool. It's so nice to see like seeing Jack from like the beginning and like moving up and up and up. And and the fact that I know them and I get the opportunity to go and hang out with them and film them is super cool as well. Young filmmakers have asked me a lot like how I find interesting people to shoot or interesting topics to cover. And people like Jack and Liv want people to film them and it's not hard to get in touch with them. Everyone has one of these. Everyone has Twitter, Instagram. Like You can get in touch with anyone. My friend Ruben, you should definitely check out the doc I made with him. I'll link it below. I just hit him up on SoundCloud because I thought he was a sick guy, and he is a sick guy. But yeah, to young filmmakers who want to make interesting docs, hit these people up because they want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm peacing out. See you tomorrow.